Hey guys, LJ here from LJ Films and today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on my workflow of my feature film called Locked and here is the scene that I'm going to working on and I'm going to show you the, proce um, the process of how I, how I color correct the video and how I grade the video and make it a final output video. So let's get started. So I'm going to go step by step on how to do it. So I have a reference mark here. I put a marker on there so that I'll know that's the point I'll be working with. And it's a lot easier for me to work because I do have a, um, a clapper with a color bars on it. So it's easier for me to see, you know, to get a nice white balance and all that kind of stuff. So actually I did already some, apply some effects so let's remove that for a while and start with the raw video. Um, so this is the raw video as you can see it's a lot orange because I've set the camera white balance to um, shade which gave a lot of orange tone into it so let's fix that real quick. So go to video effects and um, I have my AAV color lab um, that's a free plugin you could download but um, you can use the built-in white balance of the Sony Vegas. So I added the white balance and um, I pick whip the white color that's supposed to be on here and after I've done that I decrease the amount of correction so that it will be you know um, correct color that I'll be getting and the next effect I have here is a knit video um, it's a plugin you should buy but it's really really good when denoising some stuff so I turn it on and I did some adjustments on here and getting picking different kind of places to get the noise and um, when you go here this is the final version this is before and after I don't, I don't think you can see it but let me just show you um, so here's um, after the effect here's before after before after just a little bit of change and I added some sharpness as well and um, I decreased the noise reduction amounts to 35 so that's great and I click apply and I render that out to After Effects. So that's basically what I do. I did the linear cuts on here and correct my video and um, denoise it. Then what I'm going to do is bring it on to After Effects right on here. And this is the graded version, the final version, but I'll show you how I got there step by step. Mm, so here is the original video and I duplicated the video and named that subject and what I basically did there is mask out my subject right there and did some feathering on the side and what I did next is um, on the below layer I added some effects called CC radial blur as you can see it's a blur effect I wanted to have the um, windows having a light rays onto him so I did that so having this object on top I'll be able to avoid that um, blur occurring to the subject so I have a blurry background and next I have the adjustment layer with the glow filter applied so basically it gives a glow around his shoulders and the edges of the t-shirts because it looks un, um, natural with the effect on the blur effect so adding the glow will be able to you know soften that up and next I added the optical flares from videocopilot.net and just a little bit of flare on there and reduce the opacity to 60% and scale is on 200 and the brightness is on 40 and I changed the center position so that I'll be able to avoid flares on his face and the next thing I have is a mojo from magic bullet you can buy from redgiantsoftware.com and once you apply that and basically this is the color grade that I usually work with uh, you could work with looks but I think looks is more of amateur kind of type of thing because you always have to depend on the preset or you know all the same stuff but I really love what, about Mojo is that it's affordable and I didn't add any um, um, on any punch because I don't want to have my any contrast because once I start to add contrast on my video it starts to look like video then film and I wanted my video to look like film then video so I didn't add any contrast and I bleached it a little bit more and I changed the balance so I have a nice blue tint so I'm loving the colors, so nothing special, just change of colors. But while doing that, I was able to get nice hair colors and the shadow colors, but I was able, I ruined the skin. So as you can see, the skin overlay, I got the skin tone right, but the half of his face is out of color. 
So the bad thing about um, that I added the mojo, I was able to add the cool color, however I, I lost his skin colors. As you can see we were able to keep some skin colors on there, I could be able to change it using the balance. But um, I like the colors on the shadow so I left it like that. And did some uh, skin solo and some skin squeeze. Skin squeeze. And I was able to get a little bit of nice uh, skin colors on there. But um, you know color correction and color grading is about push and pull. So I just able to add a um, different effect to add the skin colors back. So the next thing I have is a unsharp mask and sharpen. So basically it sharpens my image. Let me zoom down a little bit. So that is with the sharpening and this is without sharpening. So as you can see on the eyes, it um, got sharpened. Um, I don't like to sharpen too much because I don't want to have that video look again. But you know, having the eyes on focus really gives that um, concentrations to the audience. And the next thing I have is just a solid color. The reason why I added a solid color is because I wanted, again, to bring back its skin colors. So, as you can see, this is after, this is before. This, little bit of, uh, this is the hardest thing that I worked on because um, if it's not a still, it's a moving picture. So, um, I had to a little bit of do a rotoscope king at the same time some um, keying. So it was easy, but um, it's quite hard. So what I did is um, did the um, blending mode to color and brought the opacity down around 25 and that gave the skin colors on here. As you can see, he's popping out in the scene like so. So that's really good. And the next adjustment layer I have is unsharp mask. Uh, you might be asking, why are you sharpening the image again with already sharped? Okay, let me explain. Um, I have the mask on and that's basically it. I just sharpened the eyes a little bit more. So that people can concentrate on there and again i don't want it too much so i decreased the opacity and wish i can pull back and push back later on so that's great and of course you want to have a feathering i have it around 50 and the next adjustment layer is a tritone um tritone is one of my favorite color grading tool uh, you can also work with cc toner which does the same job but tritone seems to be working better for me so what I did is change the mid-tones color to a little bit of green because I wanted to add a little bit of green because it's all orange and cyan and I feel like the green is missing on this scene so I added a little bit of green onto this scene and that gave a little bit of dramatic look onto the scene. Again we lost some skin tones but it's not uh, worse than a while ago. Again and the final touch I added a vignette. When adding vignette I don't like to um, add some solid colors and changing the blend in blending mode to like overlay or soft light. Um, I just like to add some curves on the vignette. So since I didn't add any curves, I was able to still keep the details and all the blacks and the whites. Just have a nice vignette around him. So that looks really cool. Let me uh, disable all that. And also one thing I work with is the project settings. I changed the aspect ratio to 816, which is a 2.35 aspect ratio. Um, shot with anamorphic lens. Actually, we didn't shot in an anamorphic lens, but um, having that film look will also um, give the look. So um, basically, um, um, I'll show you guys the image from before and after. So if you have any comments or any questions, leave it in the comments down below. And um, I'll see you guys next time.